Hi guys, uh, we're going to be covering powers of eye and just some manipulation of powers of eye in this session. It's a really short one. Let's get started. Okay, what I'd like to do is I'd like to simplify 3i to the power of 9 multiplied by 2i to the power of 3. Now just before we get started, we know that i squared is equal to negative 1, which means we can say that i to the power of 4 is equal to i squared multiplied by i squared. Now i squared is equal to negative 1, so in this case we could say i to the power of 4 is equal to negative 1 times negative 1, which would actually equal positive 1. So, what I'm going to do is the 3i9 and 2i cubed, I am going to separate them uh, like this. So, i to the power of 9, I could separate it as i to the power of 4 times i to the power of 4 multiplied by i to the power of 1 because these are ind uh, index rules, multiplied by 2i squared and i to the power of just 1 by itself. Now, I do know that i to the power of 4 is equal to 1, so I could replace all the i to the power of 4s as 1. So there's 1, there's another 1, and this is multiplied by i. And I also know that i squared is equal to negative 1, and of course the i stays as it is. So simplifying this, I'm going to have 3i multiplied by negative 2i. Further simplifying this some more, I'm going to get negative 6i squared. Once again, I know that i squared is equal to negative 1, so negative 6 times negative 1, which means our final answer for this the simplified version, the answer is equal to 6. So, what we've picked up from this is that we know that i to the power of 4 is equal to 1. We also know that i to the power of 8 is equal to 1, because i to the power of 4, which is 1, times the 1, you're going to get 1. So, we could actually make a generalization here and say that i to the power of 4n would always equal to 1. So, when we have bigger numbers, we could we almost divide it by 4 and find out what the, uh, the remainder is and then work out from there. If I could show you in a quick example and then we'll be finished with the session. So here we go. If I have i to the power of 41, now I know that this could be written as, because as a, how do I say this? If I do 41 divided by 4, I'm going to get 10 times 4 plus 1. So this is going to be i to the power of 40 times i to the power of 1. Now, i to the power of 4n is equal to 1, so I can replace i to the power of 40 as 1, and just i as it is, which means i to the power of 41 would simplify simply, simply to i. Alright guys, that's about it from this session. Thanks for watching.